Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope you're all having a great week today. We are going to do our review lesson. So we have been studying um, a little bit of English grammar recently, and we've been going over um, the conditionals in English. So we have the zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Hello, Anna. Nice to see you always. Hello, Omer. Hello, um, Bilal. Hello, hello. Um, it's really nice to see all of the familiar faces in the chat always. Hello, David. Hello, Coffee. I'm good. How are you guys? Hello from Australia. Hi. Herberto, hello, Reagan. Okay, so um, yeah, thank you for always joining my lessons and thank you for always sharing with your friends. I hope you are all doing well. Um, yes. Oh, Ali asked if I would make a lesson on mixed conditionals. Yes, maybe um, in the future I might. Okay, so um, let's get started with today's lesson. So um, I'm just gonna stick to what we learned this week, okay, since this is the review lesson. So um, let's see. We have here, we have the zero conditional, the zero conditional, and this is um, if plus present simple and then another present simple. So these are facts or truths. For example, um, uh, when you are, if I, you can use, uh, by the way, I think I mentioned in our zero conditional lesson, um, you can use if or when for zero conditional. So for example, if you touch, or if you, if you put your finger in the fire, it will hurt right? If you put your finger in the fire, it will hurt, okay? Or you could say when you put your finger in the fire, it will hurt, <laughs> okay? It hurts, it hurts. Oh, let me see, okay. If you put your finger in the fire, it hurts, right? Okay, so the next one, uh, and these are, oh, by the way, this is facts and a general truth. So, things that are always, um, always true. For example, uh, if I wake up late, I miss my bus. If I wake up late, I miss my bus, okay? So um, that is always true, right? Hello, Arthur, hello. Are you still in Japan? Yes, I'm still in Japan. Okay, so, um, the first conditional. First conditional is a little bit different. We use if plus present simple and then will plus infinitive. Can you see that? Sorry, my board is a little bit dirty. Okay. If plus present simple, will plus infinitive. Okay. And this is things that um, we're talking about might happen in the future. Things that might happen in the future. Okay, so let me see if I have an example for you. Um, okay, uh, if you call, I'll answer. If you call, I'll answer, right? Um, this is the first conditional, okay? So things that um, are likely to happen in the future. If you call, I'll answer, okay? Um, then uh, let's see, uh, second conditional. If plus past simple, if plus past simple, oops, 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 oops. Um, then would plus infinitive. So we're gonna change this to would, okay? So future and probably won't happen, okay? Probably won't happen. So if I had a million dollars, I would buy a house. I would buy a big house. If I had a million dollars, I would buy a very big house, okay? 
And then um, let's see, we have the third conditional. If plus past perfect, and then would plus have plus, this is past participle, okay? So uh, the can you see that? It says past that didn't happen. So something in the past that didn't happen. Oh, Keen uh, gave a really good example. If you go live, I'll join. Very good. If you go live, I'll join. So this is the first conditional, okay? So then third conditional, something that's in the past that didn't actually happen, right? So uh, if plus past perfect, uh, if I had studied, I would have passed the exam. If I had studied, I would have passed the exam, okay? So does anyone have any questions on these conditionals? Is everyone okay? Do you want to try um, doing the um, the exercises? Okay. Uh, okay, so Devaska has been asking this question. I think I can answer you now since we're doing the review. Can I use could and should in place of would? So yes, in some cases. So um, for example, uh, in the second conditional, um, you can't use it in the zero conditional. And uh, I wouldn't use could or should in the first conditional. So it's something that might be true. You could use, for example, uh, I can or I might. For example, uh, if you call, I might answer the phone. That could work. So the second conditional, let's see, um, if plus past simple would plus infinitive. So an example of uh, this that is in the future probably won't happen. So uh, for example, what is a good example? Let me see what I have here. Um, they could, they could win. Let me see, they could, uh, I can't think of a good example, but yes, you can use them. <laughs> I should have written down some examples to show you guys, okay? Oh, okay, yes. Hold on one second. If I were you, I would help her. This is the second conditional. Um, yes, so if I were you, I would help her. Very good. So if plus past simple would plus infinitive. Um, going along with the other question, um, you could say, uh, if I were you, I could, if I were you, I could help her. That maybe it changes the meaning of the sentence, but you could use it, right? Okay. Very good. Okay. If I were an English teacher, I would help students like you. Very good, very nice. Okay, so I think everyone has a good understanding. Okay, so let's try the exercises, okay? Oof, I'm still a little bit tired if you haven't noticed. <laughs> okay, ooh, 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 ooh. Sometimes it's hard to do live lessons when I'm tired, <laughs> okay? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, very good. Yes, this is a good example. If I had a car, if I had a car, I could reach home earlier. Yes, that means there's a possibility, right? You're switching out, um, I would reach home earlier to I could reach home earlier. So it's um, a different probability, right? Ah, yes, very good. If I were a bird, I would fly to you. Very good. Okay, so let's try the um, examples. So, ooh, it's a big scary test. Ah, <laughs> okay. So I don't list which conditional I'm using, but um, I want you to answer these the best you can. Okay, so, uh, let's try number one. If people eat too much, what? What? What happens? If people eat too much, 
what happens? Can anyone answer or does anyone have um, an interesting answer or who is the fastest to get the answer? Oh, Ali said they will get obese. Very good. If people eat too much, we could say if people eat too much, they get obese. Very good. They get obese if we're using the zero conditional. Very good. Okay. If people eat too much, they get fat. Yes. Very good. If people eat too much, we can say, I think that's a good one. If people eat too much, they get fat. Very good. They get obese. They become obese. Okay. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice, everyone. Very good. Oh, they get sick. Very good. If people eat too much, they get sick. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. How about number two? If I see him, if I see him, what's going to happen? If I see him, if I see him, ah, okay. So for the first one, um, we are using uh, the zero conditional. So uh, we just use the present simple. If people eat too much, they get fat, right? It is a truth, okay? Ah, very good. If I see him, I am happy. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I should, hmm, if I see him, Ah, I will talk to him. Very good. I will be happy. Very good. I will give him my lunch. <laughs> okay. If I see him, I will slap him. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'll give him a big hug. Very good. Okay. So if I see him, we'll use the first conditional. If I see him, I will... Let's say give him a hug. That's so nice. I will give him a hug. Okay. If I see him, I'll give him a hug. That is very, very kind. We all need a hug these days. Okay. Oh, if I see him, I'll give him advice. Very, very nice. There are some really interesting um, answers here. Good job. Okay. How about number three, if I were you, if I were you, remember, uh, usually we say I was something, right? But a lot of the times um, native English speakers will say, if I were you, if I were you, if I were you, what is gonna happen for number three? Let's use um, the second conditional. Let's use the second conditional. If I were you, what's going to happen? If I were you, I would be famous. Oh, very good. Very good. Hyder, is that your is that how you pronounce your name? Hyder? Very good. Okay. If I were you, I would help him. Very nice. If I were you, I would try hard. If I were you, I would buy it. Very good. If I were you, I would call him. Oh, very, very nice. So we're using the second conditional here. If I were you, let's say I would, I would, oh, I would tell the truth. I would tell the Truth, very good. If I were you, I would tell the truth. Very nice. If I were you, I would tell the truth. Good job. If I were you, I would be careful. Very nice. If I were you, I'd go to the party. I would buy her flowers. Awesome. If I were you, I would travel around the world. 
Ah, very good. If I were you, I would visit Fuji Mountain. Yes, I have actually hiked up Mount Fuji two times. Very difficult. Very good. Okay, how about number four? If I had studied, can you see that? If I had studied, so hmm, if I had studied, let's use the third conditional here. Let's use the third conditional. If I had studied, I would have passed the exam. Very good. If I had studied, I would have passed the exam. Oh, if I had studied, I would have become a president of America. So if you're talking about the president, the only one of America, you could say, I would have become the president of America. Yes, but maybe you don't need to study <laughs> to become president. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. If I had studied... Remember, let's use the third conditional. So something that uh, did not actually happen in the past, right? If I had studied, uh, oh, shout out from Switzerland, hello. Ah, okay. So if I had studied, I would be a doctor. So for if we're gonna use the third conditional, if I had studied, I would have been a doctor. I would have been a doctor, okay? Okay, so let's say if I had studied, I would have passed, uh, let's say the exam this time, the exam. Okay, very good, very good. Awesome. How about number five? I'm late. Let's use the zero conditional. So something that is always true. Something that is a general fact or general truth about you. I'm late. What? For number five, I'm late. So zero conditional. This is the zero conditional here, if you can see it. Zero conditional for number five. Let's use zero. Ah, okay, yeah, very good. I am late if I get up late. Yes, very good. I'm late if I get up late. Or I'm late, uh, I'm late if I do not hurry. Do not hurry, yes. I'm late if I don't hurry. Uh, I'm late if I miss the bus. Very good. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm late if I stay up late, yes. Okay, oh, there's a lot of comments. I think it's like a little bit slow, yes. Oh, yeah. So sometimes the chat will be very slow and freeze and then suddenly jumps. Okay. So let's say I'm late uh, if I miss my bus. It's a good one. Okay. I'm late if I miss my bus. I'm late if I miss my bus. Okay, so if, or you can say, I'm late when I miss my bus, that is also okay. So I'm late if I miss my bus. That means always, generally it's true that when I miss my bus, I'm late. Yes, late for school, late for work. Very good. Oh yeah, when I oversleep. Very good, Arthur. Okay, how about number six? I'll tell him, hmm. I'll tell him, let's use the first conditional. I will, so I'll tell him. Hello, Janimel. 
from Philippines. Hello. Ah, okay. I will tell him if I meet him. I will tell him if I come across him in the office good, using the using the new vocabulary. Very good, Ali. Uh, I'll tell him if I meet him. I'll tell him. Uh, I'll tell him. Let's see if I have a chance. That is actually a very good one. I'll tell him if I have a chance. This is something that um, native speakers often say. I think that was a good one. I'll tell him if you don't tell the truth. Oh, okay, very good. I'll tell him if I meet him. Very good. How about I'll tell him uh, if I uh, have or get the chance. That is a very common um, thing to say in English, right? I'll tell him if I have the chance or I'll tell him if I get the chance. Very, very good. Okay, let's try number seven. We have two more, just two more. Number seven, they would win. Let's use the second conditional. They would win. So this is uh, something that's probably not going to happen in the future, okay? They would win. What? What do they need to do to win? <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. I see. I see some. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Number seven. Yeah, we're on number seven. So they would win. Ooh. Ah. Oh, very good. If they tried harder, if they made more of an effort, very good. Uh, they would win if they worked harder, very good. If they played better, oh, very good, Patel. If they played better, yes. Okay. They would win if they had a good coach. Yeah, that's true. Very good. They would win if they tried to have enough practices. Ah, interesting. Okay. They would win. Ooh, they would win if they were well prepared. That is a good one. Nice one, Arthur. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, yes, there's a lot. So we're going to use the second conditional. So uh, if plus past simple would plus infinitive, right? So they would win if, let's see, if, if they, let's say if they practiced more practiced more. Very good. So if they tried harder, if they practiced more, if they had a better coach, very good. Okay. Number eight, it would have been better. Uh, ah, Ali said, if it had not been raining during the match, it would have been better if it had not been raining during the match. That is a very good sentence. Oops, hi. <laughs> Sometimes I accidentally click the wrong one. It's so hard. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, they would win if they tried their best. That's a good one. It would have been better if they had played is that clearer, clear? Maybe if they had played uh, maybe more fair, fairer? Ah, very good. If I, oh, the chat is going crazy. <laughs> I can't, I can't see all of the messages. Sorry if I miss yours. Uh, ah, it would have been better if I had enough 
uh, practice speaking. Ah, so like if you give a speech or something. Very good. Uh, it would have been better. Uh, oh, if we had gone to the cinema. Yeah, maybe you uh, went somewhere else, but it wasn't that good. Oh, it would have been better if we had gone to the cinema. Very good. Uh, <laughs> it would have been better uh, if you had joined Bree's live lesson. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ah, it would have been better if they had eaten good food, okay? If they had slept well. Oh, very good. Okay, so let's say it would have been better. Um, I saw some about preparing. So it would have been better if they... Uh, if they... It would have been better if they had, let's say, prepared more. It would have been better if they had prepared more. Yes, excellent. Good job, everybody. So let's just quickly go through our answers one more time. So if people eat too much, they get fat. That is a general statement, right? A general fact. Number two, if I see him, I will give him a hug. Or if I see him, um, I will tell him you say hello. Number three, if I were you, I would tell the truth. That is, in, that is a very good one. Number four, if I had studied, so I didn't study, I would have passed the exam. So I didn't pass the exam and I didn't study. <laughs> okay, number five, I'm late if I miss my bus. I'm late if I miss my bus, okay? That is a general truth. Number six, I'll tell him if I have the chance. Very good, I'll tell him if I have the chance. So something that is likely um, to happen in the future. Number seven, they would win if they practiced more, but it is unlikely that they will win because they don't practice, okay? And number eight, it would have been better if they had, this says prepared more. It would have been better if they had prepared more, but they didn't prepare enough and it wasn't that good. Okay, very, very awesome. Does anyone else want to uh, make some sentences really quick? I have just a few more minutes. Now that I have woken up more. <laughs> okay. Ah, I see. So Anna said for number eight, it would have been better if she had, if she had listened to what her husband said. Oh, very good. Okay, uh, let's see. It would have been better if we had had a big castle. Yes, that sounds amazing. That sounds much better than whatever it is right now. <laughs> ah, let's see. Uh, this is a good one from Hitet. So if you were egotistical, Everyone would avoid you like the plague. Very good, very good. So we learned egotistical a few weeks ago. So very awesome. I love it when you guys um, uh, bring in the new vocabulary that you learned. That is always a plus, very good. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay, okay, let me see. There was, a, there was one that somebody asked me to correct. Uh, they would won if they practice well. I think it's correct. So uh, you should say they would have won if they had practiced more or practiced practiced well. I would say practiced more. Oh, my pen is open. So they would have won if they had practiced more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hello to the people coming in. Ah, okay, okay. So, um, 
If you want to be a decisive leader, you should be legitimate. Yes, you should be legit. Maybe uh, you should be, you could say you should be a legitimate, um, a legitimate politician or a legitimate um, something. Maybe adding another, uh, adding a noun there might be good. Okay. Sometimes we um, shorten the word legitimate in English to say legit. So something is legit. It means it's um, really, really good. It's like the correct thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. I would have mastered English if I had followed you earlier. <laughs> um, I think you're doing okay. Your sentence is very, very good. Okay. Ah, do this is a good question. Do we use conditionals in spoken English a lot? Yes. So um, I, I, I tend to say like, oh, if I were you, I wouldn't do that. Or um, if you call, I'll answer. We do use those a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in spoken English and in regular conversation. Um, I think um, we do uh, mixed conditionals a lot also. So I'll have to do a lesson on mixed conditionals because even when I'm trying to do this lesson, um, I, have to, I have to remember not to do the mixed conditionals because I haven't taught that yet. Okay. Ah. Okay, uh, 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 let's see. I'll do maybe one or two more. Ah, okay, I would travel around the world if I won the lottery. That is a good sentence, very good. I would love to travel around the world. Okay. Oh, if I had been born in America, I would run for president. Just joking. <laughs> Good job. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. If I had a money, I would help poor people. Okay, for this one, remember that money is uncountable, right? So it, it is a group of different kinds of money, right? So if I had if I had money, I would help poor people. Very good. Okay, or I could help poor people. Okay, uh Let's see. If I eat healthy food, I will be more fit. Yes, very good. If I eat healthy food, I will be more fit. So if you uh, if you say like that, you're using the first conditional. So something that might happen in the future or it's likely to happen in the future. Very good. Okay. So very good, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Oh my gosh, we've we been going that long. We've been going for 33 minutes. Wow. Okay. So thank you everybody for watching this lesson. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. Um, I'm going to do more live lessons uh, next week. But I think there is one or two days that I will be really busy and um, I won't be able to do a live lesson, maybe Thursday, Friday. I will let you know. So just so you don't uh, think I disappeared. <laughs> but definitely Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, you will have new live lessons. And I'm going to be posting um, pretty much all the time on YouTube. So go check out the YouTube videos also, like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so I will see you guys on Monday for a brand new live lesson. Okay, thank you so much and um, have a great weekend.
Thank you guys. Bye.